See how the sunrise is over here? But over here, there is something magnetically creating all of these lines to go towards whatever's drawing it in that direction. All these lines go to towards something over here and the sun rises there. Like there's a magnetic field and that's one of the poles, like a north and south pole. This is what the magnetic flux lines look like around the Earth, with the North Pole being here, and then all of the flux lines of the magnetic field go out from that one central point. So something here is drawing these clouds To a line as if there's metallic particles in the clouds and they are drawn to the magnetic field that makes them all lead toward this one spot is it a Nibiru a planet X I've seen it multiple times and even to the point where on the other side you can see that the lines also come to this central point on the opposite side of the sky doesn't always have both poles, but this morning it seems to. And I used to think it was in alignment with the sun because I would often see this anomaly, all the clouds aligning with a point on the horizon, approximately in alignment with the sun. I've seen it a full 90 degrees off, away from the sun. But clearly whatever's causing this is not that light source in the sky that we call the sun as the sun's rising this morning. It's like an artificial magnetic field almost that is created right over our domes possibly to protect us from the solar radiation because our magnetic field that used to do that is no longer working properly. So in certain areas they create a magnetic field. That's what this appears to be, a magnetic field over us. And that's one of the poles right there. So I've shown this a few times. I probably have three or four different videos of this effect happening. It's just one of those things that I notice that well, most people don't notice. So here you can actually see the center line going right here. These ones go this way, these ones go this way. Center line is right there. And it's just a good sunrise. That's always good vibes. <laughs> but yeah, that's what's happening. We got an artificial magnetic field being produced over to overhead. Or a secondary magnetic field that's just not... That's my theory. That's what I think we're looking at. But if it were the standard magnetic field of the Earth, this would be either directly north or south. In order to be the magnetic flux lines of the Earth in our magnetic field that we typically know of, that would be north or south. Considering it's right there next to the sun, either the sun is rising next to north or south, 
But no, that's, that's east as we've always known it, at least according to the landscape. Sun's still generally rising in the east over there. Or at least so they want us to believe. Pulling a Richie. There we go, got her locked in. Anyway. So if it weren't for this artificially produced magnetic field, radiation sickness would be happening like a mofo. And in my trip to Missouri, when I was saying, get your iodine, bring the iodine, ah, iodine, ah, iodine. Since then, Mr. MB3 has gone from showing the UVA and UVB and UVC readings. And every day he would show UVC and say, UVC should be zero at ground level other than in the Arctic Circle where the magnetic field fails to shield the UVC out. What he's telling you is the magnetic field is not shielding the UVC out for that first year or two that he did UV readings and showed you A, B, and C. And every time he would say UVC should be zero at ground level other than in the Arctic regions. For the last two years, he's been showing you the genetic mutations that are happening as a result of that radiation. Iodine protects your thyroid from radiation. Typically, it's used for nuclear radiation, but solar radiation is uh, also a type of radiation. So I think that was good advice that I was given as far as taking your iodine. It's got a lot of good effects. And uh, the magnetic field ain't what it used to be. And for that reason, we're seeing all these genetic mutations of sunflowers, tomatoes, strawberries, seven-leafed clovers, the size of your palm, and many other genetic mutations that UV, uh, MB3 has shown over the last year or two in 2020 and 2021. In 2019, he was still showing the UV readings. He doesn't do that anymore. Probably because UV readings are so off the chart. If you didn't get it, you're behind the curve on the learning curve. Anyway, it's time for me to get, uh, get to work.